Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your new moon in Libra reading. And the uh, new moon in Libra, of course, is coming up around October 6th. Um, it's going to be at 5.05 a.m. Mountain Standard Time is when it's going to be at its fullness. So depending on where you're at in the world, you can figure that out there. And the energy of this new moon, of course, it's Libra, so it's all about compromise, give and take, negotiating or renegotiating. Um, and then with this new moon with Libra, um, it can include a restart of some kind. And it ends with a healthy and well-balanced result. You know, the Libra tint to it all can suggest doing things um, in pairs or doing these new things in pairs and it can either be with uh, another human who's of like mind you know libra is the air sign which is um you know representative of swords uh, suit and it's about your mind your thoughts your beliefs so it's someone with like mind i um, mean you know it's like this balanced individual with you on either side not like this where this is showing out of balance right it's more of a balanced um pair or if you're not really um, looking for a human <laughs> of like mind, then you can have this, uh, you know, the pair um, that you can have is pairing up with spirit. And that would be the less dramatic choice, right? <laughs> Usually. And a Libra is also the sign of love and harmony, negotiation and relationships. So it's harmonious, it's kind, it's luxurious, and always aiming for balance. So it doesn't like this out of balance feeling, it's wanting to balance things out. Now, this is the new moon in Libra, and so when you're looking at the cycles of the new moon to the full moon, even outside of it happening monthly, you can look at the full cycle. Um, it's a six month full cycle of going from a new moon in Libra to a full moon in Libra back to a new moon in Libra. So the last full moon that we've had in Libra in the past was March 28th of this year. And that was a time of things climaxing in areas that, you know, um, in these areas that we've talked about of our lives, right? And um, since then, you know, when you move from a full moon to a new moon, it's about what you're letting go. So since then, you've been letting things fall away that no longer serve those events, or you've been at least thinking about what you want to let go. And now that we're headed close to the new moon, now's the time to balance all that out. So what we're going to be asking for in this reading, um, because we're going to do a special reading just for your um, each individual sign, we're going to ask, what are you ready to balance to ignite that new start? Or what um, does the Creator want you to know about balancing and about this new start? So we're going to go ahead and jump into your reading right now, and we shall find out the answers. Here we go. All right, all my Scorpios, this is your reading for the new moon in Libra. And we're going to start off by pulling a card here from this Clarity deck. Um, and this is actually manufactured by a company called Girls Gone Happy. And that just makes me happy just saying that. Um, what a wonderful name for a company. Um, in fact, whether you're a boy or a girl or however you identify, Today, we're honorary Girls Gone Happy. Deal? Deal. <laughs> um, and then this card that we're going to pull here um, is going to be what the creator feels um, they want you to know about balance in your life at this time. And okay, so they just want this one right here. <laughs> so we're going to go with that one. And then we're also going to pull some cards here from the Everyday Tarot. These are going to represent the clar clarification on whatever message that is. So, Creator, what's th what else do you want? Okay, our Scorpios to know. Okay, I feel like this one and this one as well. So, you've got your three that are here balancing on the balance beam here, or from your point of view, they're underneath the balance beam. So, this is what is underneath what the balancing that is going to be happening. 
And then we're also going to pull a card here for over here for the crystal medicine oracle. And this just represents what medicine or tool the creator wants you to be aware of that can help you with whatever situation is coming up here. And that we'll talk about in just a moment. That's a shuffle. All right. So, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna say for our Scorpios, but they just went ahead and gave us the card anyway. <laughs> and then we're also gonna pull a card here from the Divine uh, Directions, um, little deck here. And this is gonna just be what overall the creator wants you to know about this energy around the Libra new moon for you. Okay, we're gonna put that right on the balance beam here. And then I will pull um, some clarif clarification cards here after we go through all this and pull the medicine before we do your final divine directions message too. So we'll go ahead and jump on in here and see what the creator wants you to know about balance. And you got nucleus. And it asks, do you want to build your life around this issue, feeling, value, or person? How can you decentralize that which you don't want to build around and center that which you do want at the heart of your life? <laughs> so yeah, so there's whatever situation is going in your life that is stealing your peace and making you feel chaos and um, yeah, just uh, making you feel all these feelings that are rooted in fear. Um, they're have you off center or out of balance and what um, can we do to help bring that into balance right and build it or like it says um, so we can build it around and center that which you do want um, at the heart of your life so right now there's things that are like are urgent that are demanding your attention but when you realize it and look at life it's like well it may be urgent, but maybe it's not important because what you want at the heart of your life, at the nucleus of your life, um, that is what is important, right? So we'll get some clarification here with these cards here. Yeah, so five of wands. Wands is your uh, fire energy. Um, and so this is about conflict, challenges. You feel like you're battling and um, so this is what you, you feel like you have to um, battle against others because everyone is wanting to be at the center of, you know, the attention. Um, what's great about the card, though, it is also brings you a message of that um, you once you go through this and whatever medicine comes here, it's going to help you see that you're not at war. Um, it's more like you're at a Buddhist kung fu monastery where you're battling against other monks who are developing and increasing their skills so that you can use it and you're heightening your skills so you're not battling against each other to defeat each other you're actually battling each other uh, raising your skills um, and understanding that everyone is has the everyone has an ace of wands so everyone has a passion and desire that they want at the heart of their life and sometimes that of course when our lives intersect um, we have this external belief that in order to live my life and my dream that everyone else needs to support that <laughs> And, and that's what all this, you know, is, is like, no, my dream, no, my dream, no, my dream, no, my dream. And it's like, you know what? Everyone can live their own dream. Um, and uh, there's ways to make it a win, a win, 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 you know, um, and we just have to figure it out. And there's always a way. And sometimes it's about going our separate ways. And we're like, oh, oh no, we can't have that. And I was like, well, if it allows everyone to have their own dream, then maybe sometimes that is going to be a much better um, situation or much more aligned with who you are than battling all the time, right? So sometimes it's like, you know what? Let's agree to disagree. I have this dream I want to live and you have that dream you want to live and maybe we'll cross paths again. But right now um, it's best for both of us to obtain our dreams for us to go in this path, right? I know, I know. 
Yeah, because here you have the Eight of Pentacles. You're doing your work. You're doing what you love. You're um, putting out great input. And this is Pentacles is all about your abundance. And so you are focusing in and able to focus in and do what you want to do, what you love. You know, this is like this, um, you know, picture in your mind, someone living in a small little town. Um, and you're a blacksmith and you're doing your thing and people are coming and because you're in this small town it doesn't co cost a whole lot to live and so you're able just to do what you love and you know people um, love your craft because you are expressing what you want in it and because your heart is in it right and then go a thousand miles into a large big city and you're working in a, a conveyor line um, you know, working along, you know, thousand other people putting out this product that you're not putting your heart in, right? <laughs> and so that's the difference when you're trying to live the dream that everyone else wants you to live, but live in your own dream, right? Yay! And you have the star. And so this is a card of hope um, and connecting and seeing the star that you really are. So connecting to that higher place um, for you. This is um, like the Aquarian energy because you can see it's like the water bearer. And the gift that the water bearer brings is they, in these bowls, in the vases, you know, that normally it, um, they show the Aquarius um, bringing, she brings the living water. She brings the water that quenches our thirst. Um, and in that gift, she also shows us um, what we're truly thirsty for and what was not quenching our thirst. So when you talk about what's gathering your attention, it's not quenching you, it's not satisfying you. Otherwise, that would be what you want at the center you know, of your heart, at the center of your life, but you don't. And so this is bringing you that beautiful hope, that beautiful love. I mean, it's because you're connecting to your higher self, your higher awareness, to your spirit self, you know, that powerful, supernatural, eternal spirit being that's made of unconditional love. And in doing that, you discover what your passion is. And you also, again, you get this higher viewpoint and understanding what everything is about. And this balance comes in because your fear subsides um, when you are living your passion because... Um, you know, like we were talking about here, uh, if if you have a dream and you know what it is and it's your passion in your heart, it's what makes your heart sing. It's not, you know, um, this thing you're, you're trying to accomplish, right? Um, because everyone else wants you to accomplish it um, and your heart's not in that. Um, if you're if it's in there, then um, when the question comes up, are you are you um, ready to pay the cost to make this dream come true? You're like, no, <laughs> it's not my dream. But when it's your dream, when it's what you want to do, and the question comes up, are you ready to pay whatever cost it takes to obtain that? Yes, it's like you don't even have to think about it because it is your passion in your heart, and it's because it's you're connected. I mean, you know, you have everything you need. Because um, really you have everything you need inside you already. Um, and so you're just sharing that with the world. And sometimes people go, I don't know what I want. I don't know what makes my heart sing. Um, this card um, tells me, you know, with this overflowing um, bowls is how would you want to uniquely express the unconditional love that's inside you with the world? How would you want to uniquely express your unconditional love in your heart with the world and ponder on that and that might help you understand what it is how you want to share that with the world right it clarifies because it's not after riches and all this other stuff that you're actually sharing your passion with the world and it's like how do you want to do that all right and let's look here at what medicine um, comes in here and you've got initiation and the um, medicine is sacred site like a site s-i-t-e and the um, crystal is phenocyte and it's number 16 
I'll let you see that one more time because here's the ancient runes, ancient site, sacred site, and beautiful orbs um, of light coming to assist. <laughs> so, and let's see what message comes with here and what medicine is given for this adventure um, for you here. It says you've attracted this card into your awareness today as it is a sacred time of initiation. Throughout your life, there are certain times when you're offered opportunities for huge personal growth and your soul in this, on these moments is aligned with powerful energy that allows for awakening on all levels. You're entering into a rite of passage where you will be offered new gifts and abilities to assist you on your journey. The stars, <laughs> the stars are aligning at this time to shower you with divine blessings. Divine blessings, it's showering, right? <laughs> Have you been feeling a little frustrated with or stuck in your life? Have you been doubting your purpose? Do you struggle to believe in yourself and feel unworthy? Well, the universe has shown up to remind you how powerful and amazing you are. Know that you are worthy and all that you have been searching for or the wisdom and clarity to action your next step is right here. Take the time to connect to and be aware of what's coming through for you at this time. Could be an offer of a new job, an opportunity to go on a holiday, a marriage, a birth of a child, death of a loved one, or any other major event in your life. These are catalysts to bring in this new vibration and energy for you, a universal blessing and an ignition of the soul. Your gifts are ready to be honored and worked with, and now is the divine timing of initiation and in honor of who you are and what you've already achieved, right? Already achieved. <laughs> Make sure to nurture and believe in yourself as you birth this new energy. And then it talks about the sacred site medicine. This is there are thousands of sacred sites spread throughout the globe, created and founded by ancient civilizations. They were built where ley lines or energy lines crossed, making them a powerful vortex to connect to other worlds. They are known to hold the dynamic energy of initiation and sacredness. Being in a sacred site will lift your energy to a higher state of consciousness. The ancients knew this and would facilitate all their ceremony and sacred business in these places. Some examples of sacred sites include Aluro, Machu Picchu, Stonehenge, Mount Shasta, and the Grand Canyon. If you ever get an opportunity to travel to a sacred site, you'll understand the powerful initiation it can offer, and you will definitely be transformed by the experience. I love it. And sometimes I know, especially these days right now, we're kind of limited in how we can travel and stuff. Just Googling it and researching it can bring you, especially because you're, you know, this amazing emotional water sign, you're able to, um, you just focus on it and it's like you're there so you can even experience a lot of that sacredness and that initiative type of energy by doing that and then the phenocyte um, if you look into that crystal um, it assists in integrating initiation it involved uh, it's usually involved with rites of passage and it awakens new gifts so I love that perfecto perfecto and then we're going to pull some additional cards here from this everyday tarot and just see once you go through this initiation once you feel like you've gone to this sacred place which is really your heart you know the center of your heart this nucleus that is this sacred site and when you connect to yourself and you go to that place that's when you get this clarity, this beautiful clarity about what it is you truly want at the center of your heart, right? Hey, Krita, what else do you want our Scorpios to know? Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness! That went way up here! <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, here you go. So, 
you've got temperance, which when you look at these two cards side by side, you see that they're very, very similar. Both are stunning on land and water, you know, um, land and water, land and water. Um, they both are pouring um, from two different cups. But the difference between the star and this um, temperance is that you're pouring, um, this is the Ace of Cups, this is the unconditional love of the Creator, the essence of it, it's the chalice, the Holy Grail, and you're pouring it into your human um, side of yourself. And you can see that it's very contained and very controlled. Um, where this, this was like this massive outpouring, where you're pouring it out into the world. So um, I just really feel the difference between this is, you know, this is your inner um, experience and this is your outer experience and how you're allowing it to flow out to the world. Because um, you don't see, you just see the crown here, which means you're in charge of your inner kingdom, right? And you're balancing your physical world with your emotional inner world. Um, and so this beautiful, you know, it's all about balance, right? And so you have this beautiful balance that's happening um, with that here. Yeah. <laughs> and you have the Ten of Swords. And this is good because swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your expectations. And when you get to the Ten of Swords, um, this is how you feel exhausted. You're not dead. This person is ultimately exhausted because all these expectations of who you're supposed to be, who you should be, what you need to be, what you have to be, finally just, you just, I've had enough, which is great because a 10 means ending and new beginning. You're done with it and you're not dead. You're actually looking to the sunrise that's rising. And so this is a beautiful transformation that happens um, because you're letting go of all those just all the like all these dreams that everyone is saying that you should be and that you should be a part of and this is who you should be you know you're just letting that go you're able to um, leave those down in the valley below as you move up into the heights to the sacred site of your heart you're moving inward where these things can't follow um, so I love that you know it's a, it, it's definitely a, a great card whenever I hear anyone like and their lives are like, I just have had it. I just can't take it anymore. I'm like, awesome. <laughs> and they're like, what? I'm like, it's perfect. That means you're ready to let go. You're ready to let go of all that, you know, kaka poo poo doo doo. It's, you know, all the stuff that's been weighing you down. You're ready to let it go now because your exhausted feeling outweighs the fears of letting them go. And you're like, I'm ready to let that stuff go. I'm not going to, um, you know, uh, be. Uh, involved in that anymore. I'm not going to let that inner conflict be there um, with all those, the fear of not meeting up to those expectations. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is about outward, you know, your outward self, your growth that's going on. Um, it is about you're seeing fruit grow and you're seeing things happen, but it's also about patience. Um, you know, the there's a Zen saying that always comes with this for me, which is chop wood, carry water. And it's kind of like this, just enjoy doing the daily moment. Just do what you need to do today. Don't look at all the future days and all the future seasons. Be in this moment, see what's growing. Um, you know, you can reflect and see what has been growing, but you don't have to live, you know, into a thousand steps into the future. You know, the journey of a thousand steps starts with one, and then you just look at the very next step. You don't have to worry about the other 998 steps ahead of that. It's like, just focus on the very next step and do the very next thing um, that, you know, towards this dream that you're realizing, right? All right, and your final message from the creator is ask. It's okay to ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness. And um, whether it's asking for external help um, or asking, you know, the creator as you're connecting to your higher self, you do have these amazing beings of unconditional love and light. In fact, um, when you look up here, here's the star and here's all these orbs. 
you have all these amazing, beautiful support on the other side that are with you every second of every day. And they are so willing to help. You have your free will, they won't mess with it. So unless you ask, they um, can't do anything or they won't do anything because they honor your free will. And so when you, of your own free will, ask, you know, the Creator, Spirit, all your guardian angels and angels and spirit guides and loved ones on the other side that have already gone to the other side, your ancestors, this, this whole group of beings of unconditional love and light, just ask them questions. You can ask them for assistance, ask for signs, ask for answers, ask for clarity, whatever it is, and they will bring it to you because they love you and they want to support you on your, on your path towards your dream. So I'm loving this. So ask, ask, ask away. If you're uncertain of what next steps you should do or what your dream is, um, just ask and it will be revealed to you. Believe me, <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, just know as you go throughout each and every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. Have an amazing new moon in Libra, and I'm sure we'll be talking together soon. You take care.